Hi, welcome to the Expresso, your daily shot of Chinese words with Catherine Xiao. 大家好，欢迎来到我的频道 The Expresso。在这个频道呢，我们看字和词之间的关系。啊，这个星期大家好不好呢？那今天呢，我们会继续我们的新系列。然后呢，今天老师会教大家四个非常常用的词语 ，four vocabulary 啊、uh, ，four words very commonly used. 然后呢，他们的特点呢，就是他们是相对的。And what is ah、uh, interesting about these four words? Hopefully, will help you to remember is exactly they are the opposite meaning of each other. 然后呢，我们也会来看一看这四个词语到底是怎么组合起来的。Again, through learning these four words, it will also help you to understand how we. Four Chinese words with simple concepts combined together. 好的，那我们就开始吧。好，第一组我们要学习的这两个词语呢，一个是费心，费心；第二个呢是省心，省心。好，我们先来看一下，那费费的意思呢是浪费。浪费 very wasteful 啊，费心 ，so waste your 心 heart. OK, 所以呢，这个是费心。然后呢 ，the opposite 省省 means to save 啊，省省心 ，so save save your heart. OK, so first let's look at 费心 wasteful heart 费 so it. It's kind of you need to use a lot, right? You need to use a lot of. This "xin" here means your thoughts, your energy. So, in a "fei xin" means something you need to be really taken care of. You need to think a lot, put a lot in, put a lot effort in. 那这个呢就是费心。那什么时候我们会用费心这个词呢 ？Typically, we use 费心 when you want to make a request. Or when you want to express your gratitude, 那我们来看一下，比方说你在需要做一个请求的时候，你可以说这件事情就让您费心了。我把两个孩子拜托给你，这件事情就让您费心了。我把两个孩子拜托给你。So in this context, you can see this person is asking the other person to take care of. To children, right? So, 让你 pay attention is 让你 we say to make you ah、uh, make you 费心 So this is an example of request. So in a work context, you can also say 这个项目请你多费心这个项目请你多费心 So this project 请你多费心 in this context is a request to ask you to、uh, to pay great attention to. And to making sure you spend enough time and attention or effort on this project. 好，这个是第一个作为请求。那第二个情况 ，so the second is to express gratitude. So when other people helped you, you want to use this expression. 啊、uh, ，非常感谢让您费心了。非常感谢让您费心了。So this is a very common expression to say. Thank you very much. I've occupied. It means I'm occupied a lot of your thoughts and effort, right? So it's like acknowledging the time and effort you took away from the other person. So you know, 非常感谢让您费心了 Finally, sometimes you can also use it as an rejection. Ah,、uh, so when you do not necessarily want other people to get involved in a certain Matter or maybe involved in your business, you can also use a negate. So, for example, very commonly you can say, 这件事情就不劳您费心了。这件事情就不劳您费心了。Here's the common、uh, collocation fixed expression is 不劳，不劳您费心了。那不劳 means do not trouble you. Ah,、uh, so it's a very polite way to reject. The other person's involvement. So, 这件事情就不劳你费心了 Okay, so this is the first word we learn. 费心 so it's quite.
quite a lot of fixed expressions. Okay, so in a 多费心 right? So please pay more attention. Ah,、uh, 不劳您费心 or do not bother. Okay, and 让您费心 ah,、uh, this is going to make you pay more attention. So these are all the common useful expressions. 好，那我们现在看一下省心。Now let's move to the opposite of 费心 which is 省心省 we know is to save. Ah,、uh, usually we we say ah, 省钱 you have to save money or 省电啊、uh, 省电省水 to save the electricity or water. So living a very frugal lifestyle, 省啊、uh, this is the word. 那省心 so in this case it means you're gonna save worry ah,、uh, save a lot of effort. 省心 In what context usually we use it to describe a situation or describe, for example, children? Ah,、uh, if you if you have children who are really good boys or girls, they don't really need a lot of your require a lot of your attention or effort. You can say, 这个孩子真让人省心。这个孩子真让人省心。So again, is 让人。Ah,、uh, so does not require a lot of effort. 或者呢，你也可以说，有他的加入，真的可以让大家省心了。有他的加入，真的可以让大家省心了。So in this context, with his joining, ah,、uh, so means he's probably got right skill, ah,、uh, right talent. So we can all save a lot of worry. 省心。好，那这个就是我们要学的第二个词语“省心”。现在让我们来看一下这两个词语怎么写，一个是“费心”，一个是“省心”。Opposite is very easy. How everyone knows how good, right? How sing good heart. How sing, and then the opposite of how is what? 坏 yes, bad. Ah,、uh, 坏那坏心，好心 and 坏心啊，好心 and 坏心 So I think most of you can guess the meaning already, right? 好心 means someone who's what? This word 心 means 心意啊 intention. So 好心 referring someone's good has got very kind and good intention. While 坏心 evil or bad intention, right? 好心 and 坏心 So I think in terms of meaning, it's very easy to learn, which is very easy to understand as well. Now the key is how we use these two words. Okay, there are some kind of particular collocation we have to learn. 好，那我们先从好心开始。好心 ，one of the things very important is to understand the measure word of 好心 Yes, indeed, there's a measure word for 好心 which is 一片，一片。啊，比方说，不要辜负了他的一片好心。不要辜负了他的一片好心，或者呢，这真的是我的一片好心，这真的是我的一片好心。So we can see here. Just remember, if you need the measure word, the measure word is 片 So this is the first thing. The second thing is another verb very ah、uh, commonly used with 好心 is 出于。出于 so out of so that means out of good intention. I I'm doing something with good intention. Okay. 比方说，我这么做都是出于好心。我这么做都是出于好心。So I did this with my best intention. Right. 出于 so this is very important. We remember 出于好心
because of. But of course, 好心 we also have some as expressions. 比方说，好心办坏事，好心办坏事。So sometimes you do something with the best intention, but the result is not as what you would hope for. So in that case, you could use this slang, this expression, 好心办坏事 right? Good intention, but ended in bad outcome. You did something bad eventually. Another thing we also say when people do not appreciate your best intention, or do they do not value ah、uh, value your Help. Then you can say, 好心当做驴肝肺，好心当做驴肝肺啊，驴肝肺 So this is the lungs and the liver of donkey. So in the ancient time, these are considered to be worthless, right? So it's gonna be thrown away. 那好心 a good intention 当做 being treated as 驴驴肝肺 something worthless. That means. Someone who do not appreciate your help or do not appreciate your best intention. So this is another Chinese idiom we will describe or use in that context. You can it's like a little bit complain, right? 好好心当成驴肝肺 You might be a bit upset. You try to help, but the other person do not want or appreciate your help. 好，那这个就是第一个好心。接下来我们来看一下坏心。坏心 is the opposite of 好心 right? So that means、um, evil intention. But 坏心 is very interesting. Usually, we have some other、um, expressions to go with it in the colloquial Chinese. So, for example, 坏心 also being used like 坏心眼坏心眼 So we add i ah、uh, after that 坏心眼 So same is the exactly the same meaning as 坏心 or Another word we also say 坏心思啊，心思思 means what do you think 啊，坏心思 So what is more important here for you to remember is the verb. So what kind of verb we will use when you say someone start to think to think bad thoughts? So of course you can say 他是坏心啊，这是坏心 So you can say this is bad intention. But what verb we will use when someone start to have bad ideas? 那很常用的呢是动啊、uh, means to move to start to have 动坏心思动坏心思啊、uh, 不要动坏心思不要动坏心思 So it's like don't have evil thoughts 啊、uh, don't don't have evil thoughts. Another word can be 起啊、uh, to start rise. So 起坏心眼起坏心眼 So again, it means to start have this bad idea. 好 So this is something just to be quite careful if you want to use it as a noun, but you need a verb to indicate starting of bad intention. Then typically we say 起坏心眼 or 动坏心思好，这个呢就是我们要学的第二个相反的，那就是坏心。坏心。那很多时候呢，我们也会说有 verb to have is another。我没有坏心 ，I don't have bad intention 啊，或者说他没有坏心眼啊，他没有坏心眼。So 有 again also very common。好，那我们来看一下汉字怎么写。This video. So today we learn two sets of words that are opposite of each other. The first one is 费心 and 省心费心 and 省心费心 something requires a lot of attention and of effort. And 省心 is the opposite. Someone that something that can make you worry free. And 好心和坏心 so someone's very kind with best intention. Or someone's rather evil and 
thinking about bad thoughts, bad intention. 好，那这个就是今天的这四个词语了。大家学会了吗 ？Hope you enjoy and learned from today's video. And next time we will continue. And I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. 好的，再见。Thank <laughs> you.